What is up guys? My name is Abdul Rahim and I am G from Ethiopia, currently practicing as a resident in Chicago. Welcome to another one of my videos and in this video I'll be discussing the five most important resources for USMLE Step 1. A lot of uh, people ask me to make videos with regards to preparation for USMLE Step 1 exam and this is one of the first videos I'm making with regards to that. So if you're interested in this video, I'll go through the most important resources for the exam, so tune in. So I'll start at number five. And at number five, I have Pathoma. So Pathoma is a resource that mainly focuses on preparing you for pathology, which makes up the majority of the USMLE exam questions. Now, if you asked me a couple of years ago when the USMLE stuff one exam was scored, I would rank Pathoma definitely in the top three. But now that the USMLE Step 1 exam is actually passed fail, I don't really think that one, a person has to read Pathoma to pass the exam. But it's still a good resource if you have the time to study it because it helps you build your concept and those concepts also help you during uh, your USMLE Step 2 and above. So I would definitely put Pathoma number five. And in at number four, I would put the self-assessment exams, be it UWorld or the NBME exams. For the purpose of uh, assessing yourself, obviously, you can take one of these, uh, either the UWorld self-assessment exams, or then you can also take the NBME self-assessment exams. Given that you have similarly step one is now pass-fail, I do not believe that you need to take both of these self-assessment exams. But I, I would advise that you take the self-assessment exams early so that you can track your progress and that could eventually save you a lot of time because if you're scoring persistently above 230s in the self-assessment exams then you're probably good to go ahead and take the exam and you can pretty much be feel confident in passing the exam the first time around now the third uh, resource in at number three is you guessed it it's first aid book now the first aid book is the all-in-one book for the USMLE Step 1 exam, and it's a very great resource for memorization. But make no mistake about it, it's not the best resource to build concepts. There are better resources that I'll discuss in the uh, later part of this video. However, it's still very great to organize your knowledge after you have built your concepts and sold it your knowledge. So I have first aid at number three. And in at number two, I have Boards and Beyond. This is a, a very underrated resource, but I believe that now everyone's starting to use it. But a couple of years ago, nobody really knew about it. A lot of people used to use Kaplan videos still. But Boards and Beyond now has become a staple in the USMLE Step 1 preparation. It gives you the most amount of information in the shortest amount of time. It, the videos are packed and they're very relevant and explained in a way that everybody could understand. So, Boris and Beyond, great resource. And also, the videos are organized in the same uh, manner as in the same sequence as the first aid book. So whenever you go through the Boris and Beyond videos, you can revise the first aid and um, build your concept through the Boris and Beyond and organize the knowledge through the first aid and memorize some of the details through the first aid. So, great resource and uh, Boards and Beyond is an absolute must to prepare for USMLE Step 1. And at number one, the most important resource for the USMLE Step 1 exam is obviously, you guessed it, it's UWorld. Um, now the UWorld for the USMLE Step 1 has around 3,500 questions and it's imperative for you, for anyone that is going to take the USMLE Step 1 to go through them at least once and uh, if you have the time, go through them twice. Now, uh, how should you be? How should you be using UWorld? Is the other question that comes along. If you're going through UWorld once, do it system mode. Uh, that way, you can do your boards and beyonds, revise through first aid and organize your knowledge. Do the boards and beyond questions for that system after the boards and beyond and first aid. In that way, you consolidate everything together and uh, so everything can tie up together. If you're doing new world twice then it's better to do the first pass system mode and then the second pass of your world you can do as timed random mode if you do this then you this is probably an overshoot for step one because um 
this is what people used to do uh, when they were preparing for a step one, when it was like the most important exam and it had a score and everything. But if you still want to have good knowledge, um, good knowledge base before you take the USM step two exam, then doing the world twice would be a good move. Other, otherwise, doing the world once is, I believe, enough for 95% of people to pass the ASM step one uh, in the first try. So there you have it. These are my top five resources for the USMLE Step 1 exam. If you found that helpful, you might find my other videos to be helpful as well. Um, go ahead and check them out and I'll see you in the next video.